So now we're going to take a closer look at vitamin D. Is it important to have vitamin D uh, with calcium? It actually is. So vitamin D helps to absorb the calcium that we take in through our diet. So vitamin D you might know as the sunshine vitamin. This is because our bodies are able to synthesize or produce this nutrient when we're exposed to sunlight. So aside from helping our bodies to absorb the calcium we take in, it's actually good for preserving skeletal mass, which is very important as we age. What uh, would be some good food source of, uh, or good source of vitamin D? Yeah, so from food, um, it's actually funny, natural sources of vitamin D are limited. So fatty fish and eggs are a good source of vitamin D. Um, but then it's added to lots of other foods. So our milk and alternatives group. So again, with our milks, our yogurts, cottage cheese, regular cheese. So those are also great sources of vitamin D. Um, one thing I want to make note of is that regular cow's milk contains about 45% percent mm -hmm. vitamin D yeah. so for individuals drinking any kind of fortified beverage you want to make sure it's fortified with vitamin D also okay should I be taking a supplement so supplements yeah that's actually important um, anyone over the age of 50 it is recommended mm -hmm. so here in Alberta the average adult we want to aim for about 600 international units a day and then anyone over age 70 we want to aim for about 800 international units a day um, but actually here in Alberta, we don't even get half of our intake. So we're lucky to get about 300 international units a day. And even with the sun in the summer months, we're still not getting enough vitamin D. And another interesting fact is that as we age, our bodies don't produce vitamin D as best it could when we were younger. So anyone over age 50, it is actually recommended to supplement with vitamin D. So here we are in the pharmacy, and now we're going to take a closer look at vitamin D. So as I mentioned, anyone over age 50, it is actually recommended to take a vitamin D supplement. And again, what we do want to look for is that NPN number, which is our mm -hmm. natural health product number. So we just want to make sure that it is indeed safe for consumption. Mm -hmm. Is there different types of supplements that... Uh there is actually. So as with most supplements, there are different variations. So again, we have our capsulated forms and we have liquid forms. Sometimes you can find chewable. There is an upper limit, so a maximum amount that we want to aim for. So the upper limit for vitamin D is 4,000 international units a day. Some individuals may be taking that dose or a little higher, but we want to do so only when recommended by a physician. So we just want to prevent any of those adverse health effects. So always, it's important to follow the directions on the label. Is there a calcium and a vitamin D supplement that we can take? Yeah, there is actually. So there's been such high demand because there's a lot of patients taking both a calcium supplement and a vitamin D supplement. So they've actually made it easier for us. So you can actually buy a combination of both, so calcium with vitamin D, and it's usually in the D3 form, most common. So what I find is that these doses are usually lower in both calcium and vitamin D, but always, again, the doses can vary. So I always say check with the healthcare provider and let your doctor know before you are starting a, a supplement. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thanks.